dying here. We go. Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Ratty Ruffin from YouTube, and I feel like doing another DVD review of an excellent movie. Of an excellent movie. You won't believe it. You'll be saying, no way. Excellent. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great 80s comedy that, you know, came out, I think, in 1989, but it takes place in San Dimas, California. The movie came out in 1989, but it takes place in San Dimas, California, 1988. You probably know the movie I'm about to review. Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. History is about to be rewritten by two guys who can't spell. Gnarly. But dudes, it, it is an excellent adventure. That launched Keanu Reeves' career. No way. Way. And of course, Alex Winter as Bill. I know some people don't know who, who's Bill. I mean, who's Alex. I know some people who doesn't. There are some people who don't know who Alex Winter is, but uh, he was one of the Lost Boys and he was in that movie Freaked. That's a weird 90s movie. I wish I had that. Damn, I used to watch that all the time back in the 90s. It's tubular, dude. Uh, I I heard they are trying to do another Bill and Tanny movie. I don't know if, if that's going to work out. Even if Keanu Reeves says yes to it, he's, he's old, though. I'm not old, old, but he's old. Can you imagine him and I, Alex Winter doing that? Playing that guitar and you know at their age I just can't see it but maybe who knows. Bill and Ted that's the late uh, George Carlin as Rufus Rufus what was it Rufus 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 I'll say Rufus he was a guy from the future who needed Bill and Ted to save the universe no. Because of Bill and Ted, the future is so great. I wish we had that now. I wish we had the real Bill and Ted to make the future world peace and great. But they gotta pass their history exam, or especially Ted we have to go to military school. His dad's a real butthole cop. But so yeah, they use this phone booth. Yeah, and we don't have phone booths anymore. I mean, we do, but we don't. No, they don't really have those phones in the phone booths anymore. You know, I mean, we have these cell phones now. It was almost a way ahead of its time. Well, not really, but I don't know. But anyway, Bill and Ted, they have to get some historic figures like Socrates, Billy the Kid. First, they get Napoleon. Then they have Beethoven, Joan of Arc, Genghis Khan, Sigmund Freud, and Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I think I named them all, but... Uh, Yeah, Bill and Ted is a great 80s comedy that you, you should check out. You, you know, they're the stereotypic California teens of the 80s, late 80s, but uh, that's mostly movies they just said. Uh, they just gotta pass their history exam or they'll fail and there'll be no more wild stallions and the world as we know it would be doomed. Rawr. But yeah, check out. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What else happens in this movie? Oh yeah, Bill's hot stepmom. Here's a spoiler alert. A spoiler alert later on. She marries Ted's dad in the sequel. And the sequel's a little weirdish than the first one, but I'm about to review that later. But like totally dude, you should review check out Bill and Ted, they're party animals, man. How shall I say it? They're totally tripping bitch and dude, yo. So check out Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. One of the best A's comedies around. And as President Lincoln once said, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Subscribe to my channel, we'll party on. <laughs>